Hi, this is a Reverend Bob from the Church of Howard Stern. Now we've been on the air already for several months and we've gotten a lot, a lot of response. And I'd like to say thank you to all of the people Hi, who responded you. in a good way. Of course, naturally, in anything that has to do with controversy and or Howard Stern, there's gonna be a lot of problems. We've gotten a lot of hate mail, mainly because of just common misconceptions. A lot of the Latino community is a little upset with Howard still after the complete miscommunication over the Selena thing. I'll go into that later. But there's also a lot of people who do not know what the purpose of the church of Howard Stern is all about. It's all about censorship. They're trying to censor what you're watching right now. Of course, they. a lot of the Christian, Yahoo, blue-haired old ladies would love to take us off the air. But because of this little thing called free speech, we're still here. Now, when you sign up for the Church of Howard, call the 818-4-ASS number, as you see on the bottom of your screen. Once you're signed up, you will receive one of these nice little postcards, which are in the mail now. Uh, you, This will let you know that you are now a Church of Howard member, and you will be updated on Church of Howard events, such as these live tapings that we have out here in Deep Ellum. We're going to be having you. some live shows with live bands, and uh, we're actually talking to some of the WAC Pack members of the Howard Stern Show, including uh, Crackhead Bob, Captain Jenks, and possibly Jackie the <laughs> Joke Man Martlin. So, stay tuned, keep signing up, call in, give us your comments, and please do not cuss in the message so that it can be played on the air. And if you'd like to be on the Church of Howard, maybe you have a special talent, a handicap, uh, a speech impediment, you want to be our own version of Stuttering John, call the hotline number 817-818-4-ASS. It's Metro Free Call. And we'll call you back and we'll set you up. Right now, we're going to go back out on the street in Deep Ellum. Find out more. I can't just see him doing how do you guys feel about Howard Stern? Howard Stern, okay. Well, I can tell you the first time I ever heard of Howard Stern, the first time I listened to Howard Stern, I felt very, very upset because he was very, very aggressive. But you know what I'm saying? I'm very rude. So I thought about it and I listened to him and I've heard very, very numerous um, interviews he's had, and I think he's he's not as badass as he wishes, but I don't give a damn. Howard Stern is Howard Stern, and I have grown to love him. Ooh, sorry, damn, sorry, D A N. Okay, Dan. No, you, you can say damn. Okay, okay, cool. But anyway, you can say everything Howard listen, says on here. Howard Stern, he, he makes money for what he does, and I mean, I give him a lot of dap for being with a, you know, a, I guess I would say an African American woman who is like totally against what he is with. I, I don't know. I like You're African American? Him. No, I'm I'm Hispanic. <laughs> I'm Hispanic. Soy Latina, but I give him respect Dad, for that yeah. because you know I appreciate what he does, and he's cool. That's all. Okay. Well, how would you feel if I told you that some people started a church of Howard Stern and think that Howard Stern is in right. fact God? Right. Well. I feel that that is all a myth. I mean, okay. like the Buddha, like Jesus Christ. I believe in Jesus Christ. You feel that Howard being the second coming is a myth? That is just um, a 90s thing, I guess you'd say. I wouldn't believe so. I mean, he's a person who has, you know, caused I a lot of controversy to America, to everybody else. So, no, I don't, I don't think that Howard Stern is a uh, God. You know what I mean? He's a person just like us. You know, kill him, bring him back. I don't think so. But... He's a very entertaining man. He knows how to make Maybe money. Maybe not a spiritual God, just no. a living God. A living God. Well, whatever, to anybody else. But hey, I give him respect ah, and, you know, ah, you are Howard ah. Stern, you know? If you were in Howard Stern's presence, would you praise him in any way? No, I wouldn't. Get nude for him? No, I would not get nude for it's him. Howard what Stern is that? Nude. You know what I mean? Those women want <laughs> I would. Oh, I'm sure you would, but then again, you know what I mean? Do you believe in God? <laughs> of course I do. Maybe you do, but no. I would never do that for you, Howard Stern. I think you are just a crazy piece of... No, basically. Oh, oh, sorry. Ew, sorry. I guess I won't be on your interview, right? I'll have to no, we'll just bleep that out. Did you have something to say? I have to go to the bathroom. That's it. We don't care about how it's like, I believe he said he had to go pee. He's so DJ. DJ. Go ahead. Man, let me just tell you something about Howard Stern. I had no problem with them until he started dissing on Selena after she got killed. Did you actually hear that I segment of the radio? You actually heard it. I heard it, and the rest of my friends did, and um, to me, he's 
I know he's trying to make his money. I know, you know what I'm saying, that's what it's, it's about. about. It's all about money, but he shouldn't disrespect him there. You know what I'm saying? He disrespected every Mexican out there, you know what I'm saying? With that Actually, I, I have I have the recording and we played it, and he didn't Howard disrespect. Howard Stern is the king. I worship his ass. Of all media. I love Howard no, Stern. No, no, Howard, Howard didn't, Howard didn't say anything about Selena personally. He made fun of the... Something or another. What she said. I cannot speak English, okay? I know I was speaking English earlier, but all of a sudden something hung. Boom! I, I, I don't speak English, but Howard Stern. I want to be Welcome to the Bronx. I, I, I want to make love with you. Are you the same person you said you knew Jesus Christ? Yes. I know him also. Okay, okay. had tea at my house the other night. We are in Tipelum, okay? We just want to drink tonight. Howard Stern, mwah. I think you've been drinking, actually. Had about six, seven Margaritas, I assume. Get me the hell out of here. I'm Ernest McGee, the Texas legend, and I can put you in a car. Hi, you know me. I'm Charles Hibbler with Hibbler's Used Cars. We have a wide selection of imports and American-made cars. Are you sitting there thinking, can he help me? Yes, I can. Credit problems, bankruptcy, or repos. Just ask anyone who can get you riding again. Hibbler can! Okay. I see you relaxing here uh, on the sidewalk of Deep Ellum, massaging your crucifix. How do you feel about Howard Stern? I like Howard Stern. We, as a matter of fact, me and my boyfriend listened to him this morning. We heard when that guy fell asleep on the phone, but we don't know what happened because I had to go to work. Oh, yeah, that happens all the time. Well, would you believe me if I told you that some people have started an organization, a, a church? for Howard Stern, praising Howard as God. How would you feel about that? That's a little scary. Would you ever attend an event like that? Maybe for fun. Just for a goose? Maybe yeah. a lesbian wedding, butt bongo fiesta? Yeah, definitely, I would go see. Definitely. Would you ever uh, perform in a butt bongo fiesta? Mm, I don't think my boyfriend would be happy with it, but nah. If unless he was the bongo player. Yeah, that would be fine. Oh, okay. Well, you're gonna have to call the hotline number, which is Metro 817-818-4-ASS. It's real easy to okay. remember. You have giant pupils. What are you on? Good acid or something? I don't do drugs. We have a light in her face. Her pupils are this big. Um, <laughs> use the cameras. Oh, is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what would you do to praise Howard if you were in his presence? I want to pull his hair. Which hair? The hair on his head that I could see. Well, from this angle, you'd be in a different grasping angle for different hair. Mm, just the hair on his head. I just want to pull his hair. Okay. All right. You like Howard Stern? Yeah, I like Howard Stern. Now, would you believe me if I told you uh, an organization has formed worshiping Howard as God called the Church of Howard Stern? That's weird. <laughs> would you ever attend a Church of Howard? No. <laughs> no, maybe not even for like butt bongo fiesta, lesbian wedding or something? No. <laughs> No, you, you, you're not into, like, going to... No, I think you would go. It'd be fun. I have a feeling you would... Would you, would you agree that Howard is some form of an icon or god in a way? He's an icon. I mean, a bunch of people look up to him. But he's not a part of Would you ever, like, bow, praise, and worship him in any way? No. <laughs> Sacrifice a virgin or something for him? No. <laughs> he's not that good. It's not that great. No. I notice you have... Are, are you... Are you part of like a Wiccan religion or something? You have the upside down crosses, yeah. Marilyn Manson, Anton LaVey's Church yeah. of Satan. I am Wiccan. Oh, is that it? Okay, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Anyone else? You too? <laughs> the one with the cleavage, yes. <laughs> and what a. Do you like typo negative? Oh, yeah, I do. I'm good. <laughs> and? You like Howard Stern? Yeah. Would you, would you believe that Howard Stern is God? Um, I don't think so. You would never worship Howard? Um, I mean, what would, would you do to praise Howard in his presence? Would you ever disrobe or anything? If he, like, really hated somebody, I'd probably kill him for him. <laughs> You'd kill for Howard? I'd kill for her. <laughs> Come on in here. Come on. Oh boy, Wonderful breasts. <laughs> Come here, Tammy. This is my girlfriend. Is this your girlfriend? Yes. Yeah, well, would you would you give us a lesbian kiss on the air? We would really like that. Come on. Come on, 
If you don't do it, I'll have to. Come on, Tammy. Come on, Tammy. And what do I get out of this? You get to be on TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be a point for the GLAD organization. We're going to be on TV. Yes, you will. Where? On what channel? Honestly. Uh, a lot of different channels, so I don't want to say right when? now. I would love to. Yes, many different times. <laughs> Come here, Tammy. What kind of kiss? Give her a tongue kiss. Can we just, like, like... All right. Okay. Yeah, I, did. Yeah, okay. I did it. That's an extra microphone in my pocket. Okay, that's it. Okay, bye. All right. We're here at the G Spot Grocery. You know where yours is? It's right down in Deep Ellum. It's the only place you can come to. It's the only grocery store in Deep Ellum. I would love to. And sodas and stuff. And she makes some pretty kick ass sandwiches. But I just come here to look at her. Hi, the cleavage. Show your cleavage. What is this all about? These are renegade video people. They have TV shows. What kind of TV shows this you got? Cable access or what? Yes. This is this cable Stern access? Channel. The Howard Stern Cable Access Channel. You can't make a living on cable access. <laughs> it's prime time, baby. It's good. He's on AT. Look at this guy. Does this guy look like he's dressed as a professional? You think he's this guy's so renegade, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Me, I'm a, I'm a political consultant. Political consultant. Yes. So, what monkeys, would you consult monkeys. Howard Stern to do if he were to run for president? Howard Stern to run for president? You think he would win? Uh, no, he wouldn't win, but he could make an impact on any election. You know what, you look pretty serious about that. He, 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 almost, he almost won governor of New York. I saw that. It was all right in too, wasn't it? Yeah, he, he pulled back because he didn't want to right. give out his uh, well, financial he status. Take the responsibility of the, of the office. But uh, if I were Howard Stern, I wanted to run for president. What would I do? Um, for starters, I would get Dick Morris's campaign. Yeah, I would start. I would get Dick Morris as a campaign manager. You get Dick Morris, you're golden. Well, Howard just likes to say Dick, so he'd probably like that. You got it all. Yeah, you got Dick, you're golden. Um, well, if you got Dick Period, you're golden. But if you got if you got Dick Morris, you're golden. Um, you, you create a, the attitude of Deep Ellum, I see. Create a, a level platform, maybe a rising platform. I a rising you. dick platform. I got gotcha. you. I'm, I'm, I'm working the dick. I'm working the dick metaphor here. If you, he's if you working will. his dick. Yeah. yeah, I'm working the dick. Yeah, he caught that. Um, well, uh, just to check your credentials, who have you consulted uh, in the past? Who is, who politically, who's made it? Uh, I've, I've consulted a few people. I don't see how that's relevant. But, uh, <laughs> Some people who lost, maybe? So what do you want to know about Howard Stern? You want to get specific? What do you want to know? Oh, well, there's a new group of people who have started the Church of Howard Stern and believe Howard Stern is God, and we're asking people about that. Look at Mount Carmel? Or? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, David's... We had David uh, for barbecue. He's in that meatball stew over there. We just didn't want to tell anybody. I will, I'm not ordering the meatball stew then. I, it's very good. That's what he had. The location is an unknown garage in South Really? It's part of an underground society. We will be overtaking the government soon. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Look at what I'm wearing. Janet Reno will kick that ass. Look what I'm wearing. Janet Reno will kick all that ass. I took these off an ATF member. I hear you. Yeah, exactly. M. Zabel. That's right, M. Zabel is a sponsor of the Church of Howard Stern. <laughs> what happened to Ed? My God, what happened to Ed? Ed, Ed was driving in his Mercedes down here, down Main Street the other night. Ed and has a, a Mercedes? Of, a bunch of police cops were arresting somebody, and they were making a big production out of it. There were like 20 of them. And, uh, no, wait, come back and have a sandwich. He's trying to make a left-hand turn. They're in the middle of the street. He's trying to make a left-hand turn. They won't move, so he honks the horn. He gets, he gets a ticket for honking the horn at the police officers to move out of the way. Okay, so this is not all. Burn, baby, burn. So, of course, Ed, in his sense of humor, he's like, oh, well, was it a long horn? Was it the tone of the horn? Was it the particular rise and fall of the horn as I, you know, decreased pressure on it? Was it, you know, what exactly irritated you to the point that you would write me this ticket? Well, the thing went to a warrant. And the guy had such a hard on for him for doing this. They had... A paddy wagon, five squad cars, and six armed police officers go into his store to arrest him for the warrant. Threw him in jail, and, his, and he told his wife, he says, don't bother coming and get me, this is ridiculous, okay? They'll let me out in a few hours. And you know, if I stay 24 hours, it'll pay for the ticket. They let him out, 
23 and a half hours after he'd been in. So he's pissed off. He talks to the to the guy, and he's like, "Well, what do you want to do?" And he goes, "Well, I want a I want a trial." He thought they were gonna. They, he was just teasing. So now he's got a by, He's got a trial by jury set. <laughs> so they can go before the court over this ticket for honking his horn at a police officer. So that's why his wife looked at us so funny when she saw a news crew coming into him's able. That's probably right. <laughs> so, no wonder she was so relieved to see it was only us. We will have to go back and bring you the latest breaking news story well, on Mr. Ed Zabel. My God, I should have, today? Yeah, so tomorrow I'll show up and I'll That will be Saturday, up. right? Today's Friday. Uh -huh. Today was court. Oh, he had court today. Right. Today he went to his, his trial by jury for his ticket for honking his horn in a negligent manner at police officers while they blocked an intersection and made a production out of arresting one person. Hey, look out. Takes me back to Jello Biafra. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> You've heard the speech. I hear you. No, I haven't heard your speech. <laughs> so, I can so, believe you can fill an entire hour. So have you, has your attitude changed any uh, about Howard Stern and the Church of Howard Stern? Ever since I brought Howard into my life, things have been much different. I noticed that I mean, I was you prayed to Howard and, and he revived your business. You were almost he did. under. I was sending money to every, you know, Robert TV, Tilton. church evangelist that you can think of. I mean, every month I would write checks. I mean, I was brought up as a very spiritual person. But they never had the intensity. I that think he what did. it is is when once you found Howard into your life and just accepted him as Lord and quit sending money to all the other people, you now have enough money. To, to support the business. Uh, oh. I think so. Wow, yeah, I, I never thought of it that way. I want to gang rape Robert Tilton. We'll be back after this. I'm Ernest McGee, the Texas legend for rent a wreck where you can rent new vehicles of all kinds. Rent one of our luxury 15 passenger vans for your lucky trip to Shreesport. Got a hot date? Rent this hot Mustang convertible. Got stuff to move? Rent this new Dodge Ram pickup. Or if you just need a new car at a decent price, call Renarek. But Ernest McGee for Renarek was a legend. Rocks on. With the car doctor number one. We do pain body and auto repair. Call me now because the doctor's in. Ron Freeman with Auto Image Auto Works. We do auto customizing and audio. King Seafood, the best catfish in town. All these seafood dinners, only $3.19 each. Visit our new location on East Lancaster. And tell them, Ernest McGee sent you. How do you two girls feel about Howard Stern? Oh my. <laughs> I used to listen to him ages ago, but I've stopped. I don't listen to radio much anymore. I used to listen to him, but my dad made me stop because he didn't like it. But I didn't really, I don't, he didn't bother me. I actually think he's actually very funny and actually kind of a handsome man. I see. I'm not a brown noser. <laughs> I've always thought he was cute. You're a brown noser. You just gotta be on TV. So you've stained a few pairs of panties in your time listening to Howard. Would you believe me if I told you that there's a group of individuals who believe that Howard Stern is God. And they formed the Church of Howard Stern. Probably people are stupid enough to do that. Would you ever attend an event like that? Uh, no. Yeah, to see how, what was going on. Probably would, like a butt bongo fiesta, lesbian wedding, something like that? Mm. Are you two girlfriends? No, uh, no. Oh. We're roommates. Look out. <laughs> That's about it. Hey now. So. That's it. Well, you know, we'll have like butt bongo fiestas, all kinds of stuff. Leather whips, balloons, whipped cream, that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, a little wax on the nipples or whatever. <laughs> and then praise Howard. How oh, exciting. Can I check? Okay, that's it. Okay. So, like, what station is going to be on? Hell no, you don't look okay. fat. Are you kidding? Woo. I had more deer for Okay. Lunch. Okay, like, like <laughs> Okay. Wednesday. Hey, they're in a band. Yeah, we're in a band. 
it's called. Let me get out. Okay. Well, right now we're getting some lesbian stuff. Right? Just hang on a minute. Hey, they get the hell out of the way, man. They have sex with guys. No, I'm sure I'd like to buy some sex. Is that? Oh, I'm bisexual. I'm bisexual. When I don't get it free, I have to buy it. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Y'all shut up. Okay. 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 You two. Okay. I'll, I'll just. I'll tell you what to do as you do it. You can start. You can kiss. And then use your tongue. And while you're doing that, like you can like probe her with your hands. Go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. Get a little closer. Come a little closer. Wait, wait. Open mouth, more tongue. Okay, there you go. Now wipe off your mouth because we probably have loose stick all over you. Now lick her belly button ring. There we go. <laughs> Let me think of some other stuff to do. Man, I'll probably have to stick do we have any? Do we have any whipped cream? Uh, yes, that's a nice I look. Hey, hey, whipped cream. <laughs> you like peach? Hey. Ah, fuzzy ah, navel. Ah, ah. Yeah, fuzzy navel. Come on, show us some nudity of some form. Well, I mean, of course we'll block it out, but the thought will be there. <laughs> we don't even have to pixelate that. Oh my God. We need hey, nipples. She's got a tattoo. Y'all want to see? Yes. Yeah, we want to see nipples. It's T for Tammy's tit. <laughs> Tammy's tit. She was really drunk when she got it. <laughs> Keep going. How about you? How about you, prude? I'll show you my butt. I notice you're still closed. Yeah, I won't. There you go. Okay, All right. But you tracked us down. You wanted to show us some stuff, so we. We want to know what this can be. <laughs> On TV. Uh, like, hey, what channel? We gotta put that shit out on TV. Violate yourself with that bottle right here on camera. All right. Marilyn Manson is king. Go ahead. I am Marilyn Manson. You think he's a fake? There you go. He's kind of in the bunchy. Okay. That was very nice. <laughs> Just for Howard, right? All right. Always. Howard's Just turn. for Howard. Would you bow and praise Howard? Um, I don't know about that, but. Bow and what? <laughs> what, what would you do for Howard's turn? Well, I just stuck a bottle in my ass. You stuck a bottle up his ass. Just stick a bottle. And it's wet. My ass is wet. And that's and that's a new one. We've had pickles in the anus before <laughs> here on this show, but never before a beer bottle. Cool. <laughs> I mean, at least not on the air. We at home, you know. Okay. I hear you. It's nice doing this for you. What's your name? Nice Walt. How you doing? Reverend Bob. Reverend Bob. Nice meeting you, Reverend Bob. That's my favorite movie. I even have. Those look like comfortable shoes. Mama said you can tell a lot about a person about her shoes. <laughs> Listen, how do you feel about Howard Stern? I think he's fantastic. You like Howard? Yeah. You're a big Howard fan. Not necessarily, necessarily a big Howard you. fan, but um, but I'm gonna be the next female uh, Dallas Metroplex Howard Stern. Oh, okay. Well, Don't we, may, like we him, may be able to help you out. Uh, have you heard about the Church of Howard Stern? They worship Howard as God. No, I haven't. Well, you could be an altar girl on the Church of Howard Stern. Just call the hotline number you see on the screen, 8184-ASS, <laughs> and you could be a member. What? What's that? <laughs> what was that you were saying? 8184-ASS. <laughs> yeah, 8184-ASS. The cameraman's talking to me. Cameraman's playing with himself right now also. <laughs> what would you What, what would you do to, uh, to praise Howard if you were in his presence? Um, to praise him? Would you... Are you like a cheerleader? Do you do that kind of thing? Uh, depends Were you a cheerleader in high school? <laughs> Were you a cheerleader in high school? As a matter of fact. You look like a cheerleader. Yeah. I used yeah. to hate girls like you. You used to snub me on the... Yeah, you used to laugh at me, call me a geek. No, actually, I'm... Now I'm on TV. Anything. Do a cheer for Howard. Uh. Just do so, pretend you have pom-poms. Jump up and... Can you do the little cartwheel thing? Just like... No. Rah, rah. We really just want to see you bounce around. No. Okay. All right, that's it. Is this your boyfriend you're waiting on? I don't know. It's my boyfriend. Howard Stern. He's not only our Lord and Savior, but he's also a wonderful author. Now, if you haven't read the Howard Stern Private Parts book, you have to get this and read it. It's a few years old now. You can pick it up here and there. It's a wonderful scripture and you should definitely get this and read it. Now, aside from radio 
and books. He now has the Private Parts movie coming out in March, and this movie will be the pinnacle of Howard Stern. He will never cease to amaze us with what he can do. 1997 will be the year for Howard. Now, of course, the soundtrack will be coming out. He'll be conquering MTV and radio, doing tracks with White Zombie and, and many others. And also, he's the king of all media, so he, he has the Howard Stern Private Parts webpage, which is at private, uh, it's a dash, like a hyphen, parts.com, private parts. Okay, it's pretty easy. Now, you can go and you can see the actual movie trailer, which is two minutes long. It takes you a couple hours to download it because it's nine and a half megs. But I've got it, and we're going to show it to you. For those of you who have not seen the movie trailer, we're just going to point the camera at the screen and let you take a look at the movie trailer off of the Internet. Here is the Private Parts movie trailer. This spring you are invited to experience an extraordinary motion picture about love, bravery, honor, and the triumph of the human spirit. How else do you stink? He was offensive. That is the first naked lady in the history of radio. I really think you need counseling. Try to be, I don't know, warmer. Here we go. Oh, what the hell, you're an idiot. You're pathetic. I'm not pathetic. He's disgusting. I refuse to work with this man one minute longer. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want me to go on? Paramount Pictures and Reicher Entertainment present The Story of a Dreamer. You're a moron. Shut up and sit still who became the king of all media. We are gathered here today in praise of me. And the price America's been paying ever since. What you're about to hear is going to shock you because it's vulgar and obscene. Can you take your top off? No. Oh, yes. Howard Stern, is that what you'd call talented? Behold. Your husband's quite a character. Just an act. I'm going to have sex with you right now over the radio. You gotta be kidding, right? Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to control this guy. You're not getting the phone from me, Kenny. Oh, I want to beat these guys. The only way to do that is to stay on the air. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Howard Stern. Private part. You are the Antichrist! And this is the hell that's my life. An Ivan Reitman production of a Betty Thomas film. Coming this spring to theaters everywhere. Make sure you go visit the Howard Stern Private Parts webpage. Now, there is a, man, there is so much cool stuff on this thing. Uh, all kinds of goodies. Anyway, go to it, check it out. Make sure you go to the Stern Rules side. They give you a choice of, of Howard Stern socks and Howard Stern Rules. Make sure you go to the Stern Rules side. And if you don't have a real good computer, then you're going to be kind of screwed. I've got a Pentium 120, and I'm having a hard time with it. As you can see here, Howard Rules. Always go to the Howard Rules side. There's lots of chat rooms and other things. We're going to go back out on the street and uh, back in Deep Ellum, Dallas, and we're going to show you more interviews about how people feel about the church of Howard Stern. Oh, I think he's super cool. Um, in high school, I did an editorial on how great he is because uh, I, get, I was like a... Well, anyways, there was a lot of Mexicans in my school, and they, they were like, with the whole Selena and, uh, They were dogging him, and so I wrote an editorial about all the pros of Howard. So. I see. What would you do if a group of people uh, formed a church to worship him as God? Not care. Oh, well, whatever. Would you attend uh, any events should they hold it? It would depend on how early they were on Sunday morning. I see. Uh, say, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Possibly. Maybe. I see. How about Saturday evenings at 8.30? Maybe. Possibly so. Well, in that case, ma'am, we have be. a nice consolation prize for you for being on the show today. Okay. It's a nice Howard Stern flyer. Howard. We thank you very much. All right. For being on. Thank okay. you. Okay. See you later. Have a good one. All right. Thanks. You, you are single, aren't you? Single? I'm trying to pick up dates. Uh. What do y'all think of Howard Stern? He's pretty cool, man. He's pretty cool. I see. 
And what would you, uh, what would your feelings be if a group of people dedicated a church and worshiping Howard Stern as God? That'd be a little extravagant. There you go. <laughs> I see. No. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you very much for your time, Miss. May I shake your hand? Okay. That's Evening. Doing Good. just fun. What do you think of Howard Stern? Well, I kind of think he's an arrogant ass, but other than that, you know, I don't know. I, I think he has a good humor, good sense of humor, but you know. I see. <laughs> and uh, what is your opinion, miss? I agree. <laughs> I see. And what would you do if a group of people dedicated a church to worship Howard Stern as God? I would think that was really ignorant of them. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Well, in that case, I'm sure you might take one of these right here for your time and trouble. Say Howard Stern Flyer, 818 ASS, if you would call that. Get all the latest info. What? 8184 ASS. <laughs> really? Sorry. <laughs> Just call that. Get the latest information on God, Howard Stern. <laughs> and uh, are you uh, are you both lesbian? May I ask that? Yes. No. I'm not lesbian, I'm bisexual. I see, uh, would y'all perform any sexual acts right here on the concrete for Howard? Um, what would you like? <laughs> uh, what would you like to perform? Um, well, I guess we could get arrested for a lot of stuff. I hear you. How are you doing, miss? Fine. Uh, what is your opinion of Howard Stern? I think he's really funny. She was going to move. Anybody want to roast me with Are we still rolling here? Okay. Hey, wait a minute. You come back. I need your number. Hold on. Uh, what would you do if a group of people uh, started a church and worship a Howard Stern as God? I think that would be stupid. And why would you think that? Because... I don't know, because there's only one God and one true God. And his name is Howard, correct? No. His name is God. His last name is Stern. Jesus. He's an idol. He's not a star. Jesus Christ Stern? Uh, God. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, I have a uh, lovely scripture for you. Howard Stern, 817. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have dropped that myself. I'm sorry. When is this going to be on? I want to see her. I want to see her. That's blasphemy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Howard's not God. Howard's an idol. Howard is God. This object. My God. That's all Howard Stern is. is Just think, if Christ was on the planet, if Christ was on the planet, don't you think he'd be getting some serious... <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you girls like to be altar girls at the Real Church Howard show? Sure. Can I really? I'm serious. Huh, how cute. Yeah. How are you doing this evening, miss? Doing great. How about yourself? Very good, thank you. What do you think of Howard Stern? Oh, I like Howard Stern. How, how well? A lot. Would you do anything for Howard? Hell yeah. Would you show, that's all, would you show your breasts for Howard? In private, yeah. Well, this is private, just... Yes, it is. Uh, is that a Howard Stern jacket? Yes, it is. There you go, Howard. Gravy. Uh, what would you do if a group of people started a church and worshiping Howard Stern as God? Uh, that, that would be them, I guess. I wouldn't do anything. Would you uh, Would you attend any such event? Should oh, they put go, one? Just, just to see how fun it was. Well, then, then you definitely want one of these. 817-8184-ASS. That's the Howard Stern hotline, miss. You can call that and get all the scoops on Howard. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.
What do you ladies think of Howard Stern? He's cool. And what would you do should a group of people, well, there is a group of people that started a church to worship Howard Stern as God, would you attend any such event? Yeah, I guess so. Sure. I see, are you two uh, female lovers? No. <laughs> I see, really. do you, how well do you like Howard? <laughs> Pretty well. Would you do anything for Howard, either of you? No. No. <laughs> no. I see. So that means neither one of you would strip down right now at this corner and just plunge your body into the depths of hell for Howard. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Too bad. But anyway, we have a nice wire for you both. Here we go. That's the 8184S817 area code. And you can get all the latest scoops, news, and details on Howard Stern. What do you think of that? It's cool. It's great. Thank you very much. May I shake your hand, please? Thank you. How are you both doing this evening? All right. <laughs> That's good. Uh, what do you both think of Howard Stern? Oh my uh, God. I think he's a dick. I can't stand him. <laughs> what would you do if a group of people started a church to worship Howard Stern as God? Would you attend any such event they would put on? No, I don't believe I would. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. I don't like Howard Stern. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Okay, I do interviews for a living. Okay, he's gonna ask. Wait a second, I do interviews for a living, and you always ask the question before you roll the tape. I say, well, here's the question, real quick. Uh, what do you ladies think of Howard Stern? I love him. I think he's cool. He's awesome. He's awesome. I have no comment. Oh, I think he's cool. He's very opinionated. Should a church? He's the kind of person that he pisses you off when he pisses you off, but then you always listen to him again. True. So true. Got something to say, and everyone has. That is true. To Howard. Say a church opens its doors, everyone there worships him as God, would you be there every every day? No, no, no. no. He's not God. He's not God. Sorry. Okay, He's just the Messiah. Yeah, <laughs> we would not worship Howard That's Stern. Woman. Yes. Well, we've all seen him in drag now, haven't we? True, true. He's cool as a DJ, but he's not God. I'm sorry. Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> I see. Well, in that case, I'm sure no, you all might want to share not. this. That's a Howard Stern flyer with the... 817 8184X. That is a real number. That's the hotline of Howard. We're going to do it. Okay, this is cool. Thank you. I thought he was going to bite our hand. Have a good evening. Go ahead. How are you doing this evening? Hey, I'm doing great. What do you think of Howard Stern? Howard Stern. Let's see. As far as what? As far as being God whether of this he's universe. A good, uh, radio announcer or whether he's. Well, whether or not. Is whether or not he's God. Oh, he's not God, that's for sure. And why do you say that, sir? Well, because God is a being that created. And that is Howard Stern. He created so. radio. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I do. I listen to him every morning. That's cool. Then you'll show your breast for Howard right now, right? Uh, sure. Let's go. That's okay. <laughs> All three of you will actually. Let's go. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, would you attend a church function from the House of Howard Stern? Nope. Yes means no, or something like that. What's your name? My name is David. Yes, that's it. My name is Bob. Yes. I listen David to Howard Stern every morning, and I don't know any David or Bob on there. I'm new. You're not on the Howard Stern show. I thought y'all were from on the Howard Stern show. We're on a different no. show. The church. Then where are y'all from? The church. I'm from my daddy's penis. Uh, <laughs> Say that again, please. <laughs> Get away. He said he's from his daddy's penis. What's the Howard? What? I don't understand. Uh, what? Excuse me. What are you talking Howard about Howard Stern, Stern Church? The Church of Howard Stern. Well, we pray and worship Howard as God. He's cool. Howard has his own God? Howard is God, miss. Hell yeah. Is this, this is John. What? No, just do not cuss, okay? How are y'all doing this evening? It's on channel 11, Fine. dude. I don't want to watch this. What do you think of Howard Stern? He's he awesome. I like him. My mom hates him. And what would you do? Would you go to a church that worships Howard as God? Would you no. attend any event? No. no. Yes, they would. All of them would. Because he's God. Huh? Are all four of you lesbians? No. They say yes. Yes. No. 
now. Let's drop and see each other. You finger each other right now. No. We're not on the air right now, are we? I don't, I don't see anybody. All right, then. Let's see a kiss between all four of you. Really I would love to. How much money are we going to use? I use an hour if y'all don't hurry. Well, this is my girlfriend. I'll kiss. If I want to be. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not a lesbian or straight. I'm a free yeah, spirit. Please don't. Thanks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like breasts. <laughs> You think he's a fag? <laughs> Howard Stern, you are a rock god, but you talk too much about faggots. Leave him alone. I love you, Howard, even though you're a goofy-looking Italian guy. Why don't you come to Dallas, Howard? Are you frightened of us? Of us conservative <laughs> Because there's some liberals here that would really like to hear your We love you, Howard. Thank you. Okay. You can phone for breast while you're doing this. Can we see any nipples or anything? You got the cleavage ready. Oh, no. Come on. I'm, we're going to block hey, it out anyway. Call me, babe. <laughs> Anybody else? Hello. Anyone else? Not here. You know Rob's gonna be watching this. Like, hey Rob! <laughs> so are your panties ruined this. right now? Are they just squashed? Oh yeah. What You're offended by all of this, right? Me? No. Uh oh. <laughs> You're a what? Them? How about you? Let me have a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I gotta get my body suit. Really? How are you doing this evening? Just fine. What do you think of Howard Stern? I love Howard Stern. Yeah, I see. Howard Stern is God. That's absolutely right. <laughs> Bow with me if we may. I hear you. Yes, we are. Would you like to show your breath for the glory of Howard? Here we go. More of it. Let's go here. No nip. <laughs> no, no nip. Look at him. He's, he's smiling. He's going, yeah, I get to go home. Would you attend a church? This is your sister, isn't it? Would you attend a church that people have put together to worship Howard as God? The man that created all of this. More than likely, yeah. How about you, miss? I don't yes. go to church. I would want to, just depending on if I had the time. That's the Howard Stern. That's the Howard Stern flyer, sir. You call that, you get all the latest information on Howard. God, say, say, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, thanks. Hey, don't you sing for Blues Traveler? No, I hate that joke. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the man who winning miss. I'm okay. What do you think of Howard Stern? Howard Stern, personally. No. Don't cuss. Personally, I don't really like him because I'm from Chicago and there he was like in this fight. He was in this fight with Man Cow. Man Queer. Man Cow. Man Queer. And you think he's a fake? He was put they they put down they put down Metallica. 
and all of them, at least the station that he was on in Chicago. And so oh, yeah, I really yeah. don't like Howard Stern. Well, Howard never put down, he never put down uh, Metallica there. <laughs> yeah, but he, he said that man cows, he said that man cows, uh, dad, when dad, when man cows dad died. Yeah, he's going to F his daddy's skull. You should be I saying that. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I don't like Howard Stern. Well, well tell her about the other, Dave. I'm sorry, what? Uh, about the priestly ways. Howard Stern will heal your wounds. He will resurrect the demon with inside of you. He will... Beatable people! <laughs> he will set you free. Don't you want to be set free by Lord Howard? No, that's okay, really. Would you believe us that we told you that Howard Stern is God? That's blasphemy. Sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> so you'd never... So you'd never attend the church of Howard Stern? No. Sorry. Okay. So you're you're a man queer, I mean man cow fan. Yeah, I like man cow. Gravy. Are you ready, baby? Yes, I am. I can't believe this. I thought I kicked you out of here before. Hey, thank you. I'm listening to the sex phone again. Please on the phone right now. You guys want some crack? Here you go. Crack. <laughs> Another fan of NYPD Blue. And remember, folks, crack kills. We'll be back. I'm Ernest McGee, the Texas legend for rent -a If you're on a tight budget, we offer a large fleet of economy cars that are clean, well-maintained, and affordable. However, the majority of our fleet consists of new cars, trucks, and vans. If you're 25 years of age, with a current Texas driver's license and proof of insurance, you can qualify. Ernest McGee for rent -a where the legend rocks on. I'm Ernest McGee, the Texas legend, and I can put you in a car. Hi, you know me. I'm Charles Hibbler with Hibbler's Used Cars. We have a wide selection of imports and American-made cars. Are you sitting there thinking, can he help me? Yes, I can. Credit problems, bankruptcy, or repos. Just ask anyone who can get you riding again. Hibbler can! I'm Clint Richardson with the Car Doctor, number one. We do pain, body, and auto repair. Call me now, cause the doctor's in. Ron Freeman with Auto Image Auto Works. We do auto customizing and audio. King Seafood, the best catfish in town. All these seafood dinners, only $3.19 each. Visit our new location on East Lancaster. And tell them, Ernest McGee sent you. Okay, how, how much has happened in your life since we brought Howard into your life? Oh, my life has changed totally. I mean, I mean, ha has anything major, I notice you've gotten a new Praise Howard gu guitar. Right, H Howard is just like the Lord himself. When you ask of Howard, he gives in return. What'd you ask Howard for? Uh, just uh, fame and riches, but you know, nothing big. And now you are uh, one of the famous guitar people here in Deep Ellum. I mean, you're known worldwide, and the riches are right there in the hat. Right. Yeah. We're the church of the street corner blues. That's, that's correct. So, so you've come up with a with a with a new uh, hymn to praise Howard. Yes. Okay. New and improved. New and improved, better tasting, low fat version of the praise for Howard. Okay. you the 
true You know, yeah, uh, church uh, league. Uh, there you go. That was wonderful. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, we'll be back. Well, that's the Church of Howard show. You've been watching it here on Marcus Cable, Channel 46, Fort Worth. It comes on every Saturday at 8 30 p.m. Now, don't forget, there's also the Video Bob show, which starring me, Video Bob. And don't forget about the Underground Connection show, which is Thursdays at 11 o'clock. So keep your eyes peeled for all RCM productions that are on Marcus Cable. And don't forget, RCM Productions does provide video service for the entire Metroplex area. We produce this television show as well as many television commercials that you see uh, every night. And uh, if you have a purpose for video production, call RCM Video Productions at this number, 817-620-1494 during normal business hours. And you will be contacted and, you know, whether you want to make a private porno or just a TV commercial, we're there for you. No matter how stupid. That's right. And you will get a special appearance by Buck the Cameraman. <laughs> we'll see you later. This spring you are invited to experience an extraordinary motion picture about love, bravery, honor, and the triumph of the human spirit. How else do you stink? He was offensive. That is the first naked lady in the history of radio. I really think you need counseling. Try to be, I don't know, warmer. Here we go. Oh, what the hell, you need you. You're pathetic. I'm not pathetic. He was disgusting. I refuse to work with this man one minute longer. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want me to go on? Paramount Pictures and Reicher Entertainment present The Story of a Dreamer. You're a moron. Shut up and sit still who became the king of all media. We are gathered here today in praise of me. And the price America's been paying ever since. What you're about to hear is going to shock you because it's vulgar and obscene. Can you take your top off? No. Oh, yes. Howard Stern, is that what you'd call talented? Behold. Your husband's quite a character. Just an act. I'm going to have sex with you right now over the radio. You got to be kidding, right? Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to control this guy. You're not getting the phone for me, Kenny. Oh, I want to beat these guys. The only way to do that is to stay on the air. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Howard Stern. Private part. You are the Antichrist! And this is the hell that's my life. An Ivan Reitman production of a Betty Thomas film. Coming this spring to theaters everywhere.
want them to sing along, it goes just like this. Coco make sure wait before your time. Coco make your seat back to your prime. Whiskey's for celebrating beer. Just your body weight comes out of your beer. You're drunk. Ready? Go make sure way before your time. Go go make you sleep right through your prime. Now whiskey is for celebrate. Beer just gives you body weight and it comes out of your ears before you're drunk. That's right. Well, drink it by the six pack and go it by the quart. Cause look by the gallon till you start to snore and snort and got a belly like you're pregnant. To get a woman you gotta beg and you be much to look at anyway. Well, taste it when you're ten and drink it by thirteen. Waste it till you realize it. Makes you all seen and makes you act like a madman. Let's hope it's just a fad and that they'll change that legal age to 31. Come on, that cold gold makes you old way before your time. Cold gold makes you sleep right through your prime. I said that whiskey is for celebrate. Beer just gives you body weight and it comes out of your ears before you're drunk. Let's go to the bar. Yeah! imported ale and it's cheap people that's us catching every beer sale so we can drink while we're painting drink until we faint and when we come to we'll start over once, once again, again. Well, watch tell them how much jack 12 ounces 16 ounces 32 or more just keep it going right on down that hole that's in your jaw until you spent your last nickel your mind is really pickle and it's time that we hit it for the bar one more chance See, somehow he always seemed to reach that mahogany, mahogany. So won't you set him up? No, let it up. Till we hit up. And can't get it up. And we, we all commence to sing it this here song. Come on! It's called Cold Gold Mitchell, way before your time. Cold Gold makes you sleep right through your prime. Don't you know that whiskey is for celebrate? Beer just gives you body weight. And it comes out of your ears before you comes out of your ears. Yes, it does. Comes out of your ears before you're knocked down. Stone cold drunk. 